Right guys, so it is half eight, Saturday morning, we are in the car again, we are on an adventure, no, we're not going to Europe's strongest man, I am sorry, but big well done, uh, big congratulations to <laughs> me, at least I uh, So we are on our way to uh, somewhere in the car, it is 8.27 in the morning, Saturday morning, no, we are not going to Leeds to watch Le look at Europe's strongest man. Sorry everyone, but a massive good luck to Luke. He's been training hard for it and he's going to be two-time champ. We are going down to the old firm, so we have got a hotel for the night. We're going to go meet some people and stuff, have a nice chilled out night tonight. And then tomorrow, it is the old firm, but it's an old firm with a different... I am very, very excited to go to this game, obviously, because of my passion for Rangers. But there's a sorry, special twist that's happening as well, so hopefully Sinead can record as much as we can of it all. I ain't going to record the game because I don't record football games and stuff, but you'll see a wee bit of uh, why I'm so excited about this game. But yeah, I've got a big smile on my face. Stay tuned. Even if you're a Celtic fan, if you don't love football, please stay tuned and uh, watch what I do out of Strongman. So we're on the road to Glasgow. We are just leaving the Highlands. Stay spicy and we will see you soon. Just passing Carbridge Abbeymore. Been in the car for 40 odd minutes. I don't know why I was only going 55 miles per hour there, but got some loads of goodies. Had some Costa breakfast roll things. Nice and happy that I got food down me. Just watched uh, the day before Europe's Strongest Man video. Spot on for Simon. Like an Italian pizza. Very good. One more thing about Saturday. It's World Autism Awareness Day. I, I don't think there should be an Autism Awareness Day. I wish. Autism was known around the world every single day, just like a lot of other uh, things are. Uh, and this is, I did a very special video that you'll see on our YouTube channel, you'll see on my Facebook, that I go into to detail a wee bit about my life with autism and stuff, which I've never really done before. Hopefully it makes sense. I'm not very good at talking to a camera when it's about that autism. It, it's quite a... I don't really remember too much of my childhood and stuff. We're on our way to Glasgow, like I said. We'll be arriving in Glasgow about half twelve, we're going to go into the hotel, then we're going to go see some few mates, then we're going to go shopping. So, yeah, stay tuned. And uh, also, go check out Cushy Stoltman, and uh, check out her content, bruv, yeah? And uh, I'll come and see you soon. We are here at the famous Ibrox Stadium, the home of Glasgow Rangers, the champions. Tomorrow they're playing Celtic. Like I said, there's a big surprise coming tomorrow, so uh, I'm happy, I'm in my happy place. We're going to the mega store, Brag is secured, and now we're going to win. Let's do this, party time starting. So we're going in here, the mega store, see if there's any 5XL stuff for us. Stay tuned. Buzzing for tomorrow, I'm like a wee kid. This is, this is what I live for, yeah, out of straw man. So, we're by the famous Glasgow Rangers gates. I'm going to be here for a wee while longer, meeting a, meeting a mate then. We're going to go get some food, so we'll probably see you at food. I don't want to bore a, a lot of anti-Rangers fans with, what I think it, but let's do it for one more time for them. Look at that, the family stand where the Union Bears go. I love the Union Bears, I love the atmosphere. Let's do this. We are the people. See you soon. 91 guys, where Tom is right now. One out of two options. Right, so that's Glasgow Rangers sorted. That is the hotel sorted. Now we are at the World Buffet. You know what, buffets and strongmen go very hand in hand. So, a few more people to come, but we're going to get stuck in and we'll see you soon. How many plates are you going to have? One. Hmm. What are you doing, Tommy? Who are you waiting on? You're the strongest man, and of course, I want Luke Stoltman to win. Luke, run the log comfortably. Comfort. Comfortably. <laughs> Comfort. Uh, comfort, I believe. <laughs> Luke won the log easy out of everyone who competed in Europe, which is a surprise. It's not a surprise, but he didn't get pushed. Uh, unlucky Tyron Beebe is one of getting the world record, so that's good. Busy day today, it's been, you know, we tried to uh, do some YouTube filming in the uh, restaurants and that, but our GoPro died, so we went to the all you can eat buffet, world buffet. Uh, I got a lot of food there. 
we're just back in this wee apartment thing, uh, chilling out now. Gonna watch Luke probably, then gonna go order some food and just chill. Tomorrow's gonna be a massive day, I'm still really buzzing for it, but like I said, I'm not down there supporting Luke, but I'm, we're, me and you are both supporting him via phone. I want Sinead can take you a wee tour of this uh, hotel, what's the hotel called? Mm. Native. So this is a native hotel in Glasgow. We were looking at Glasgow, sorry, we were looking over the George Square, which is uh, some very good memories we had there last year. Messy ones as well. Um, it looks so much different now, but yeah, it's such a cool. It's, I didn't know that there's a hotel like this that looked over. Yeah, George Square looked over the skyline of Glasgow and stuff. So, so we'll take you out to the balcony. You can see that. See you around the hotel, and we'll see you guys. Later, so yeah, sorry I didn't get any of the food for, but I'll film. I wonder if we can guess how many. I'm actually had. eating, I love Easter eggs because I'm not a kid now. Obviously, I don't get chocolate, so I just buy myself chocolate every day. I'm allowed a cheat day, so it's Easter eggs is lovely. Uh, guess how many plates I had about three or four plates, so guess yeah. and then you tell them. Sorry, three or four plates, so yeah, <laughs> like I said, um, I will try my best to get as much as I can. You know, this vlog is. Like I said, just about Rangers and about what I do out away from Strawman, so, you know, we can put something together with it, can't we, boys and girls? So, anyway, Shade will take you a wee tour and we will see you soon. Mwah! Hello! Little Tom's mess, Kinder eggs, Easter eggs even. And don't <laughs> Sexy butt! Trailer Seville! Four hours later, there is a New champion at Europe's strongest man, Alexei Novikov. Luke came second, and I don't know if Shane came third or was it Pavlo? Uh, Pavlo. Um, like I said, I, I'm watching it live like you guys, so I don't have a clue. But when I do know, I will update it. But I think it's Novikov, Luke, Pavlo. But yeah, really good result. Uh, show, sorry, Luke. You know. Uh, battled very well, obviously I think everybody knew Luke was going to win the log he did better than I think a lot of people think on the deadlifts and the chain anchor drive is a new one you know he just did a wee uh, made, he wanted to double check but which is right you know and he did really good in there and then the power stairs as well the hard thing about the power stairs is the whole thing has to be on and I think if you're like at Aver's kind of size you got a bit more of an advantage, a bit not as big not as bulky in the legs as you're tall as well like me and uh, a Dutch guy, I can't remember his name, the Dutch boy. They were really good guys as well. So yeah, and then so that was really good to see. It's really good to watch it as well, to see how it's going to be set up in Worlds. I mean, if that's how they use it in Worlds, it'll be good because I've seen them they use four or five steps before. So that seems a bit easier than Worlds. A lot of people were saying that the 250 kilograms wasn't a problem either. So, you know, that's really good to see as well because, and then obviously the Atlas Stones, which, I mean, I get they, they use the light at the Stones before Worlds, but they were seven weeks out of Worlds, Strongest Man. And at the Stone, the at the Stones at Worlds is 210 kilograms, so it would have been nice to keep the heavy stones in as well. I think for me, the, the light at the Stones set really doesn't, can really, really kind of change a 
competition for somebody negatively, I can change it positively. I think if you've got four grueling think, events, you need to finish on, you know, a hard event, which is a 200 kilogram out of stones. Um, for the likes of like the top top four or five people there, that's that's quite easy for a lot of them. But 200 kilograms, you know, a lot of people wouldn't get that, and it could change the scores round as well. So in strongman, you want to improve at everything. Um, and a big massive shout out again to Shane Flowers. I think. He's standing out, he stood out at uh, Britain's and he stood out in this competition again. I think he's one of the lightest guys at the comps and to do two competitions and, well, basically placed in the top four of both of them is unbelievable. Going to the world's strongest man. Hopefully his biceps are right, but yeah, it's unbelievable the talent right now. Glad I wasn't there, but like I said earlier, I think me being there might have distracted Luke a wee bit. Obviously, I'm not competing and if I was backstage, I might have just gotten in his face. You know, I don't like being in Luke's face when he's competing, uh, when he's training he doesn't like being in mind when I'm training so we know the boundaries and stuff but I think I was there maybe people coming up to me and blah blah asking about Luke and stuff may have given him a distraction so I think the best thing for me was sorry for Luke was for me to just support support him at home and see him but yeah you look strong as man's over for another year hopefully next year I'll get I'll be able to go last year I had Covid this year because of Australia's Australia's man, you know, I don't want to do it. You know, I've got, I think it's about seven weeks to go of training left. Now I can kind of see how the deadlift medley's going to be set up and how the, if that's how the, met the, the power stairs are going to be set up, it was a bit easier in my head. I thought it said, I thought it was going to be a duck walk. So you walk five meters into the power stairs, then walk up the stairs. So yeah, and uh, we've already built our power stairs with three steps on it as well. So it's quite, uh, it's quite good how we basically built the exact same one as Giant Slide, but obviously Giant Slides looked a bit better, so that's a big bonus for us as well. But yeah, it looked really good there. You'd have to take your hats off to Novikov. Hardy training, you know, he does, he looks like I see him at Arnold's to now, he looks a lot leaner now, he looks a lot trim. He doesn't look like he's got as much mass in him as well. And uh, obviously, that's because he's going to the army. You know, if you're big and you're hiding, you're dead. That's a simple thing that, that's going to happen to you. So he's obviously. You know, in training, and you see him on Instagram, he's in training, he's helping his country. His fellow Ukrainian countryman that was there as well, he's helping his country. So, you know, they're going to go back to Ukraine and then seven weeks' time come to World Strawless Man. So, it's going to be good. I think about World this year as well, we're all going to be here. So, it's going to be the Brian Shaw, the Martins, Kilikovskis, Novikov, Luke, the proper top seven or eight people in the world, which is going to be really good. So, yeah. I look forward to that, but I'm going to chill, give Luke a text message, let him uh, enjoy it and enjoy his night, and I'm going to go and enjoy my night. You know, I've got, uh, like I said, a big surprise tomorrow. So, guys, we will see you when we get food. So, i just seen the podium. So, massive well done to Janasha. Uh, Luke Stoltzman and the champion, the 2022 Novikov. Love Janasha. Obviously, love Luke. Love Novikov. Thank you for the shout out Novikov brother, we love you, we love Ukraine and I love every single thing you do, the strongest human, the strongest soldier and the strongest man, let's do this uh, on the night, well done my man. Also a massive shout out to Iron Baby, 218 kilogram log, Luke Stoughton 218 kilogram log, so close to 230, I honestly think that's the best I've seen Iron Baby lift a log. I've never seen him clean logs as good as he has he has tonight, so fair play to Bibby, he's been working on his weaknesses and I think if he was 100% pro, he would have doubled 230, the way that kind of popped off his chest, so he's got the record there, um, very very good as well, just keeps making people want to work harder, you know, keep catching goals, keep breaking records and keep improving their sport, so massive big shout out to Iron Bibby, massive shout out to all the Guys at Europe Straws man, and we'll see you at seven weeks. Come take the title off me, I dare you. Boom. They have car uh, warning heights in these places, but why don't they have human warning heights? I mean, look, if I go my tiptoes. Look ahead. I'm stuck, so yeah. But anyway, we're gonna. We were gonna record. George Square, but as soon as I got out of the hotel, a guy went, ah! It's Tom Stoltman. It's Tom Stoltman, the world's strongest man. 
and all that. And I knew what Glasgow's like when it's drunk, so they're really nice people, but I didn't record that. Mm. So, on the way back, we're at the car now. On the way back, we might just do wee bits. There's not much to see when it's night time here, so. It's in head. Um, but our plan is, it's about half nine, ten o'clock tonight, so we're gonna grab some food on the way back to the hotel. Sleep, we have to be up and at Ibrox for 20 to 10 tomorrow. And that's when it all kicks off and gets, and I get ready. So you'll see me a bit later tonight and then we'll see me again tomorrow. But anyway, guys, that's a weird vlog. You kind of done these in ages, but so it should. Hey, hey, it's a beautiful Sunday. It's Old Farm Day. It is 7.57 in the morning. Sunday. Oh, what a buzz, man. What a buzz. This is puts me in my happy place. So, I'll give you a wee heads up of what I'm doing. So, I am going to be going over to Ibrox for 9.40 to the Fan Village. Be speaking at the Fan Village at 9.50. And then... There's something to do with two trophies. The Britain's Strongest Man Trophy, Welsh Strongest Man Trophy has been hiding at Ibrox for a week. I wonder why. You'll see that later on. Um, and yeah, boom, boom, boom. I cannot wait for this day. Should we give you a sing song? Right? Follow, follow Glasgow Rangers. Follow, follow all the way. Fifty, five times the kings of Scotland, the most in football history. We got the battle, fever on, until the day is done. The spinning half bus troop will carry on. Oh, hi guys, I'm just doing my morning uh, warm ups, uh, just in case something happens to me. Let me get my neck sore, you know. So we're going to order some breakfast, you know. So buzzing for this voice, huh? I'm so buzzing. Right, we're getting it from Tim Hortons, <laughs> George Street. I'm going to buy a big breakfast for a wrap meal, a bacon roll, a grilled, a big breakfast wrap, ketchup, two of these, look at that. Big breakfast wrap. It's a cheap day this weekend, cheap weekend for me this weekend because obviously I've been travelling so oh, I'm going to make the most of this like. And then we're going to have bagel sandwich, ketchup, let's get some orange juice, add one to basket and then maybe get a wee bit of uh, Sorry guys, right, and then we'll get a maple syrup pancake meal and then we're going to get so a few baskets, so this is what I'm getting, I'm getting a big breakfast wrap times two, a grilled bagel sp breakfast sandwich with a big sausage in it and a maple syrup pancake, so that's mine, she can do her one and uh, yeah We got the battle fever on <laughs> until the day is done It's been an off bill strip, we carry on Big bags of breakfast Gonna feed the pigeons We're on our way to the Ibrox, so we are going to do this thing called the Van Zone. I need to be there in 15 minutes, so I'll make this short. I'm gonna go up there, buzzing. Breakfast is all right, just did a big jobby. Now the adrenaline's kicking in, the nerves are kicking in for the game. So you'll see me maybe doing a wee bits of talking, depends where Sinead is. I don't know what's happening, so we'll try and catch as much as we can. You're mostly to be seeing footage of the fans, and then you'll see the surprise later on, maybe. And maybe a wee bit of the game before it starts, but. Uh, yeah, we're heading up. Sinead will get as much as she can in this van zone. I think it's on the screens of that, so she'll be filming as much as we can. Anyway, we'll see you there. We'll see you after that. No surrender. Tommy. So we're uh, right next to the dugout. We're 
a sign over in the corner, I don't know why. But look at this place. Shout it one two one. Well, not much to say, you know. A few passengers on the pitch, a few people that can't play for that jersey, and a few people that a few kind of wrong subs and stuff as well. But you know, thought they'd learn from the first one. But it is what it is. Anyway, but a good thing I got on the pitch. Didn't get on the pitch with the trophy. You know, I'm quite annoyed because they were going to cancel it, and then they said that. I I didn't, I didn't know where the trophies was. Pretty, I'm a wee bit annoyed at that because I took my trophies down thinking they'd get it, you know. It doesn't matter if they, if Rangers lost. You should still be able to, you know, at least put them out on the pitch and, or do it after the game or put them in the trophy room for people to see. But again, it is what it is. So I'll go back down and get them. But yeah, apart from that, a wee bit of a depressing journey home. We're going out to Bragg on Tuesday. Fingers crossed that'll be better. But yeah, again, anyway, Guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you did alright. So, you got a few bits of the, me walking on the pitch, a few bits of me talking in the fan village and stuff like that. You know, it's it was cool doing all that kind of stuff. Again, a big thank you to Rangers for inviting me down and that. Um, but let's, uh, yeah, let's now just focus on Welsh Strong's man and get that title number two. Stay spicy.